Good morning. I am back on trail after a couple of days recharge the batteries uh, at the Double Tree Hotel in beautiful Johnson City, Tennessee. Feeling better, got a few meals in me, rested the legs for the most part, and uh, we'll see how this goes. It's a little chilly out, it's in the low 40s. I think it's supposed to go up to low 50s today. Drop down to the 30s tonight, low 30s up in the mountains, uh, but then start warming up uh, over the weekend. It's a th Thursday today, a few days before Easter. So, gonna take it easy today. I think I got 10 or 11 miles up over Roan Mountain. Then, tomorrow, about the same to get me to uh, a hostel. I forget the name of it, I'll get it later. But it's supposed to have the best breakfast on the AT. So I'm just gonna do a couple easier days, shorter mild days, and ease back into it and see how I feel. So we will check in later. Big climb to start, get over, uh, get over Roan High Knob. Of course, there's always a big climb to start, right? Let's go do it. All right, time for Would You Rather. Uh, today's Would You Rather is going to be, Would you rather talk to your best friend once a week for 15 minutes or see them once a year for four days in a row, long weekend, without any contact in between. Ooh, almost tripped. So think about that one. Talk to your best friend every week for 15 minutes a week, or catch up with them and see them for a four day weekend once a year. Let's see what you all think about that. Still climbing up. Roman High Knob. Just thought I'd show you a little of the terrain up here. It's a little, a little different. A lot, of, a lot of pine trees. A lot of them kind of strip bare. I guess from wind and disease or something. But uh, it's kind of a cool look. A lot of down, blowdowns and stuff. Uh, the wind was blowing, so I wasn't doing many videos coming up because it's just a pain in the neck with the wind. Legs feel good. I can't stand the wind. I really, it's just such a, like, energy suck when it just keeps blowing on you. But uh, now I'm in a little quiet spot, so it's way better. But, uh, yeah, don't love climbing. And I love less climbing when the wind is just howling on you. But uh, we'll take it, we'll, fin it. we'll deal with it, and we'll freaking push through it. Because that's what we do. Let's go. All right, at the top of Roan Knob, Roan Mountain. This is the site of what used to be called the Cloudland Hotel. It was built in the late 1800s, and uh, apparently a line would run right through the dining room of the hotel to, uh, to mark the border between Tennessee and North Carolina, because drinking was legal in Tennessee, but not in North Carolina, believe it or not. There, uh, there's a road, I think it's over here somewhere, I'm not going to go look for it, that comes up here. And uh, I just heard on the news today that they're spending something like three and a half million dollars to do some renovations to that road and some other stuff up here. Like, here's a water fountain right there. It's all out of shape. Doesn't look like it works. So they're spending like three and a half million dollars to fix up this space up here. And I think it's going to be closed for the better part of this uh, coming year. 
Uh, there's some over there. You can't see it real good. A little low wall. I think that's a remnant of the hotel over there. Uh, but apparently they're going to fix this up up here and do some work to it. Closed to locals and won't be able to drive up. But I think the trail uh, will still be able to, all the hikers will still be able to go through on, on trail. So it's good to be out in the sun. It's a little warmer, but the breeze is chilly. So back in here to go find the trail and press on. Well, there's a fireplace along the trail. I don't know what this used to be. Maybe, maybe a outbuilding for the hotel or something but uh it's been here quite a while i've seen other uh fireplaces from left over from other buildings along the trail so that's not the only one that's that's here somewhere looks like we're actually getting to go downhill now for a change that's a good thing Came down from there, passing through Carver's Gap. That road over there is a the road I think I was telling you about that used to go to the top. That's closed now. Uh, I didn't do the work that I was telling you about was the top. And uh, now we're going to push on. I think I'm going to go. There's uh, Stan Murray Shelter, which isn't too far, and then. That's supposed to be pretty small, no privy. Then you can go to Over Mountain Shelter, which is actually a closed shelter because it's like falling apart, but there's campsites there. And apparently there's a privy there, so, uh, which is rare in Tennessee. None of the Tennessee uh, shelters seem to have privies. I don't know what's up in Tennessee, but uh, I'm going to see how I feel when I try to get to that one. We'll check in in a bit. All right, on the top of Round Bald. Another bald fantastic views and you get the crap beat out of you by the wind. This, oh my god, it literally just blew me off this little walkway. I hate the wind. I just can't stand walking on top of these things and getting just blown over. It's just such a pain in the ass. Sorry about that, but I'm not even going to look at that one out of there because the view might be great, but I'm sick of the wind. One big over ball, over another ball, buffing by the wind. You don't have, you don't get beat up by wind like this when you're hiking. That's a big thing. This is, you're not in high enough elevation. You're not in the wide open. Coming down off of round ball, and just right there, you know, walking to the top of that there. wind for a bit. It has been a really windy day. Uh, the sun is warm, but it's not very warm out when the wind has been howling most of the day, so I haven't got a ton of video. But uh, interestingly enough, I've been listening to a new podcast, uh, a couple episodes of, uh, which is very timely. It's called The Resilient Life. It's hosted by a woman named Ryan Mannion. Um, She's from my neck of the woods, or uh, Doylestown, Pennsylvania, Philly area. And she's the president of the Travis Mannion Foundation, which is a veteran services organization founded by her mother after her brother Travis uh, was killed in action in, uh, as a Marine. I want to say Afghanistan. Um, yeah, Afghanistan. And uh, then Ryan's mom died of cancer. A few years after that, Ryan left a career she was building and became the president of Travis Manion. Uh, they do great work with veterans, a whole bunch of different veteran services. And a uh, good friend of mine, I know he's not a YouTuber, so he probably won't see this, but a good friend of mine that I used to work with, Sean, is a board member there. Shout out to Sean. Shout out to the Travis Manion Foundation for what they do. And uh, she interviews people and talks about resiliency and getting through all kinds of struggles in your life. So 
uh, listened to her interview to one with David Petraeus, which was pretty interesting. And then uh, just listened to her do one with Lean Johnson, some of the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, and some of the things he's overcome with mental health issues. So uh, pretty cool. And, uh, you know, the takeaway is life is hard and you need to be resilient. So hiking the Appalachian Trail is hard. You need to be resilient. That's what we're trying to do. Anyway, check out the podcast if you're interested in podcasts. Check out Travis Manion Foundation if you're looking for a uh, charity that supports veterans. It's uh, super good. Here's the Stan Murray Shelter. Pretty tiny one. Uh, I'm going to bypass it and keep going on and uh, try to get two more miles and get to a little lower elevation at a campsite. night and then have what's apparently the best breakfast on the AT on Saturday morning. So one more hill to climb and then downhill to seven and ten. Holy cow, there's like no wind for a few minutes. Thought maybe I'd clue you in on what I did for a few days in Johnson City. Just uh, used hotel points Thanks to a long career of traveling and staying at Hilton's to stay at the Double Tree. Uh, interestingly, Double Tree sounds fancy, but it's not. It's as cheap as a Hampton Inn from a point standpoint. But the best thing about Double Tree is they have those chocolate chip cookies they serve when you check in and kind of made friends with the people at the front desk. And I must have had 10 of those bad boys. I actually packed a couple out with me, had one for lunch, and I'll have one for dinner. Um, so, got some calories there. Had dinner at a Bonefish Grill one night. A little healthy seafood dinner. Had dinner at the burger joint connected to the hotel one night. And last night I went to Olive Garden and blew it up on salad and had some chicken parm. So that was all good. There was a movie theater right out back of the hotel. So I went and got, I went and saw Dune Part 2. Uh, which was good, very good. Liked it. They changed the story a little. Of course, now the wind's kicking up again. And um, yeah, and uh, oh, went and got a massage. Uh, that was good too. Beat my back up a lot. It was, I said, hard pressure, and man, it was hard. But I'm sure that helped a little bit, loosening me up. And uh, so, legs feel pretty good today. Uh, head feels, you know, better. But the wind is just. My nemesis right now so of course it's kicking up you probably can't hear this and I might end up having to delete it if the wind's too bad but hopefully it makes the cut and uh, get down to this camping spot in about a mile see ya quarter of a mile down to this spot where I'm going to try to camp it's supposed to be a water source supposed to be a privy and uh, shelter that no longer is there so we'll see uh, but I thought I'd answer today's would you rather. Would you rather talk to your best friend for 15 minutes every week on the phone or see them once a year for a four day long weekend in person? Uh, I'm gonna go with once a year for four days in person. Uh, I got a small group of friends that I sort of consider inner circle guys. Uh, and one of them in particular, my buddy Raymond. Uh, my family likes to tease me that Raymond and I have a bromance. And uh, he and I, when we get together, it literally takes moments until we're laughing our rear ends off and uh, just having a grand old time. So uh, not big on talking on the phone too much. And 15 minutes is just kind of a catch up. Uh, but if I had to do it. I would uh, see him once a year for a four-day weekend of uh, a lot of drinking, a lot of laughing, a lot of nonsense. And uh, we, that would be fun. 
Anyway, let's uh, let's get down here. Try to set my tent up in the wind and uh, call it an early night. Rest up. I downloaded a bunch of movies uh, while I was at the hotel, so probably watch something on my phone and uh, get a good night's sleep. See ya.